Hello, welcome back to another review of a Lightning component from the Salesforce App Exchange. Today we're having a look at the Hierarchy component which was produced by Salesforce Labs. We can see the listing here on the App Exchange and what it looks like is that this is a component which has been devised to address what was quite a common customization request in Salesforce Classic which was the ability to show hierarchical structures on the page. So that could be uh, organizational hierarchy in terms of an org chart with uh, managers and their uh, reports uh, or um, account hierarchy data. So I'm really interested to see what we can do with this component. Hopefully we're going to be able to put it to work in a number of different situations and it's going to save us uh, having to perform lots of manual customizations like we had to back in the Salesforce Classic days. Now looking at the, um, the details on the App Exchange. What struck me was that this is actually a very well documented uh, component. There's lots of information here um, and that actually uh, continues into the documentation inside the component itself. So here we are in the uh, Aura um, Docs uh, reference app which allows us to look inside the components and if I navigate to the hierarchy component over here we can see that uh, the author in Salesforce Labs has actually included all of the documentation and more that we saw on the App Exchange. Uh, so that was really, really uh, encouraging to me. I, I've got a feeling that we could be, be seeing a really good implementation of a, of a component here. One of the other things that I like is the way that they've structured the components. Within the KK Lightning namespace, we can see that there's the hierarchy component, and this acts as a prototype for the account hierarchy and the org hierarchy controls, each of which have their own styling and features. So looking at the standard uh, hierarchy uh, component, we can see here the example shows how it implements uh, a listing of territories. When we compare that to the org hierarchy, we can see that the people's profile uh, picture is included and it's also added uh, click to call and uh, send an email uh, options to the visualization. So lots of potential and plenty of detail to help with customization and making use of these components. Now what I wanted to try was the classic use case of putting an account hierarchy on my account uh, record detail page. So here in my developer org, I can go to my list of accounts and I've already prepared some test data. So we have the United Oil and Gas UK and Singapore accounts looking up to the main parent account, which is the United Oil and Gas Corporation. Let's load up that record so that we can edit the page. Now I know from looking at the documentation, I'm going to need the ID of the account record. So let's just copy that and then we can go in to edit the page. Now that's opened up for us in the Lightning App Builder and we're reminded that this is just a pilot uh, as part of the Spring 16. So we're still a couple of releases away from using this in production. But one of the purposes of these reviews is to really find out what we're gonna be able to do when that time comes. So there's my account hierarchy component I'm just going to add that to the bottom right section. I don't want to do anything fancy today. We really just want that component displayed uh, whenever anybody's looking at the page. So one of the parameters that's required here is the account ID, which I copied before we loaded the record. And you see we've got a number of other properties that can be set to customize the appearance. So let's go ahead and save that. And then if we go back, we'll load the modified page. Okay, and then if we scroll down here for the United Oil and Gas Corp, we can see, yep, that's right, the two uh, child accounts are there. So we can click through now and expand it. And then I think if we click that, we'll actually navigate to the UK account. So that seems pretty good. But let's just test that because I'm a little bit skeptical 
because we provided the uh, the account ID. How's that going to work in a non uh, United uh, Oil and Gas account? Let's just take a look here at Burlington. Yeah. So what we can see if we scroll down to the component is because the ID for the United Oil and Gas Corporation is what we put into the component, that's what it's showing us wherever we go. So does this mean that all is lost then? My favorite hierarchy component is not gonna be able to solve all my problems for me? Well, all is not lost because these are components, we can change the behavior. Back in my developer org, let's open up the developer console and have a look at a component which I've created, which I hope is going to solve my problem. So I've created a new component which I called account hierarchy record detail. And what this does is to wrap the component that we've got from the Salesforce Labs KK Lightning library and pass to it the record ID from the account that we're looking at. And we're able to do that because we've specified here that it implements force has record ID. And so rather than uh, create an instance of the KK Lightning account hierarchy directly, we're actually going to create uh, an instance of our own component, which is going to then pass in the record ID. So let's see if that does the trick. Um, here looking at uh, Burlington record. So let's edit that page. And you remember that was showing the United Oil and Gas uh, hierarchy because the component had the account ID specified at design time. So there is, let's get it there. There is the offending component with the, the record ID. So let's take that one off. And we can see over here in my custom components, there's my component account hierarchy record detail. Let's put that back in place of the standard component that we had. And this is something I really liked. It even uh, continues to uh, render the preview for the component, even though I did no work other than to wrap the component. So let's save that now. So we've not specified any properties. It's gonna pick up the ID of the account based on the page that we're looking at. And if we reload, I think we should see then for our Burlington record, just the Burlington uh, account listed there because it's not part of a hierarchy. So let's go back and test it with United Oil and Gas. There's the main parent account. And just to make sure that the hierarchy component is still working. And there we go. So we have our hierarchy working here and it's basing the view on the ID of the record that is currently being viewed. So there you go, the hierarchy component from Salesforce Labs. Really good quality component, really nice documentation. I'm excited about the potential that this has for future use. And today, where we found ourselves at the limit of what was available out of the box, we were able to customize it using the power of components. I've barely scratched the surface of what's possible with this component, and I would really recommend trying it out for yourself. I hope you found this review useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. And you can tweet me with your comments and suggestions for future reviews. Thanks for watching.